How would I define my work? Yeah. As simple as possible. <laughs> My parents put me into this this like art camp thing over the summer. They signed me up for this thing. It was two college kids that were teaching kids how to draw comic books. And they I remember they they let me choose and they had a box of comic books and I took Spawn number 1, which is not a good comic book for a 7-year-old because it's basically this soldier, the superpower soldier against Satan. And so I drew Satan and my parents were so upset, but the guy looked at my stuff and I remember this he was the first person to sit me down and say, you have the ability to, to look at something or, or see something in your head and like interpret it and recreate it on, on paper and you should, you should run with it, you should roll with it. I have spent years trying to learn how to paint with different kinds of paint, different kinds of canvases. I've tried to get into tablet drawing and iPad drawing and I, I can't do any of it. I need to be able to take the piece of paper and, and hold it up like, you know, sometimes I'm like this close to it. Uh, and, and see where I'm, I'm making the mark. Right now I'm doing portraits, and that all started with, I didn't know how to draw people's faces. And so I put a tweet up like in September saying like, hey, does anybody want to donate their face to help me like learn how to draw them? And I got like over 200 submissions. I figured I'd get like, a, you know, four people that would say like, yeah, you can draw my face, that's cool. Then people were like, yeah, like, Tons and tons of people, and then from that it turned into like draw this selfie and draw this selfie. Then there was like two weeks where it was nothing but butts. <laughs> I really enjoy when people can do a portrait that is just you can't tell between the painting and the person. I love looking at that kind of stuff, but at the same time, what I'm more drawn to is something like a really clean building. Uh, and it's just as I'm driving through the city, I'll notice there's like a, real, a lot of really cool buildings. This house is sweet. Crazy balcony upstairs. This one's red. This one orange. There's a brick one over here. This one's 100 years old. This one's 30, right? As we're driving by, I'll see a house and I'll just quickly pull my phone out and take a picture of it. And then I go home and I just try to draw the front of the house. I draw on a picture of my buddy's house because I really like how his house looks. So I, I go and take a photo of it and then there's a knock at this window. And it's a guy that lives in the other house and he's like, what are you doing? He's like, why are you taking a photo of that house? And I said, oh, that's my buddy's house. And he just got like so, he was like, what are you doing? What are you doing with your camera? Why are you taking photos of that house? I was like, I'm just, I'm gonna, I'm gonna draw it. Why do you need to draw it? And I was like, I don't need to draw it. I, I like to draw. He's like, oh, all right, man. All right, well, I got your license plate. I was like, okay, okay I'm sorry. <laughs> all right. <laughs> that's, that's more for me. Like, I like that house, so I'm gonna draw it. I think I have the original. There you go. That's the original. I did that when I worked at a, a call center and my mind was turning to mush. <laughs> and so I, while I would talk to people on the phone, I would just draw these super simple little flowers. And it was one of those things where I was like, I don't know how to draw flowers without looking at someone else's artwork or, or doing something like that. So I kind of just got in my head, like I need to learn how to draw flowers. And so I just, I would just draw all these, these roses just over and over and over and over and over. And that eventually just turned into this guy. That's kind of my like master print of that one. Yeah. A lot of people say to me like, well, you don't, you don't shade, you don't color, you don't do that stuff. I knew I couldn't go full realism. I'm not there yet. So I was like, well, how can I get out what's inside me without you know, ripping my skin off, trying to reach an unattainable goal? And I'm doing this one because I watched Star Wars last night. You know, when I draw something for fun, like I said before, like when it's for me, and then somebody's like, I like that thing that you did for yourself so much that I want to like give you money for it. I want to do something with something that you've done something with. That, that elevates you, man. It's very, very rare that five people will say, I want a picture of that house. You know, it's like one person that sees it and goes like, okay, that one. And you go, okay, that, that picture is now my link to you. Right. Yeah. I love that. There's a lot more people on the internet that are jumping into like, oh, I'm a creative. When sometimes they're not, they just have a really nice Instagram feed. <laughs> and I think that's what keeps pushing me because I, I don't ever want to just be somebody with a nice Instagram feed. I don't ever want to draw something just because in my head it's like, I just want the likes. I want to do it because like, that's the thing inside of me that I need to get out right now. I put it on Instagram and I, I connect with people through Twitter and, and submissions and different things, which is fantastic. 
But when I'm sitting down at the desk and I'm just drawing and there's nobody around, that's, that's, that's me. That's, I get selfish with that stuff. To come home and, and you know, put your headphones on and just work on something that is just for you, that's why I do it. See, he's nothing but hair. Well, my advice for other creatives is the same advice that I've, I've got from a bunch of other people. It's just never stop. Never stop. When you're feeling down, draw something. It helps to do it like public, right? The internet really helps with that. If you create an Instagram account and it's, it's called like, you know, Jeff's art page. Well, now you have to put your art on that page or else people are gonna be like, why'd you do that? Make that decision every day, like, okay, for this amount of time today, I'm going to take what's inside of me and I'm going to pull it out. And I'm gonna put it out in the physical world and something's gonna happen with it. But I, essentially you don't know, right? You go on stage and you start saying something into a mic, you don't know what's gonna happen after you say it. Draw something, even if at the end of the day you look at that drawing and you just spent four hours on it and it sucked, you're like, okay, what can I learn from this? Um, yeah, never stop creating. Yeah. Dude, that's awesome. That's done. I am. I always have to have a long sleeve. I can't draw without a long sleeve. That's why I went and I had to go get a sweater because if I don't have a long sleeve, something just throws it off.